Listen up, get ready, I'm not gonna take no more. There's a revolution, a revelation going on in my soul. Buckle up, get ready, we're not gonna sit back. Hey, we're back. We're back with the Live from the Heartland show for the week of February 18th. And uh, it's really neat to bring on Lynn Orman, who has brought us so much great music. And I know she disappeared in the past week, and she went, I think, to California to cover the Grammys. So we're having a Grammy report right now. How about it? And you are a grandmother, too. But I'm a gra <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I went from, the, from the Grammys to being, I dove right in. I got in, I took the red eye. Gone in at 5.30 a.m., slept for five hours. The, the flight, United Flight, was packed with performers leaving L.A., like Wayne Baker Brooks and Damon Ranger and Heather Blaze. Everybody was on my flight, my son, my daughter-in-law. And um, I slept for five hours and jumped right into being a Grammy. Grandma, that is. I understand. <laughs> in Rogers so, Park. <laughs> how was that trip out there to the West Coast? And oh, my God. Who won and who do we... Who's been on our show? How did they do? Give us a report. Well, here's my takeaway. And as of coming home, I really thought to myself, okay, from now on, some of those red carpet interviews and stuff, I'm going to do them and edit them and get them to you so we can have some behind the scenes red carpet reports with some artists. I mean, some of the most memorable things for me, well, at the show, was Sheryl Crow, Bonnie Ray, and Mick Fleetwood, who did an unbelievable tribute to Christy McPhee. That was one of the highlights for me. I mean, it was just really beautiful. They did a tribute to, um, you know, her song um, from Rumors. I think it was Songbird, which is one of my absolute favorites and really a beautiful moment. But the other beautiful moment was, if you've seen some of the reports, some unknown blues artist, female, older woman took Song of the Year. How could that be? How could somebody win over Taylor Swift and Adele and, um, and Harry Styles? How could that be? And she won, Bonnie Raitt won for Just Like That. And it's become a number one Billboard hit her second only number one Billboard hit, if you remember, um, in the nick of in nick of time was the other one that won. But it was so beautiful, Michael. To me, sitting in the second row watching the premiere telecast, which is the preview, that if you log on, you could still watch it. It's um, it's live.grammy.com, and it was just this poetic moment because Judy Collins was the one that was giving out the Grammy. And she gave it to Bonnie Ray. It was just really sweet. She was visibly very um, humbled and um, excited. She won three awards. She also won for Best Americana Performance. She gave a nod to the Americana category for all this inclusiveness, which was wonderful, for uh, Made Up My Mind. And, um, you know, she just beat out Adele and Lizzo and Swift and a number of people. And um, she's won 13 Grammys now, and she's been nominated 30 times. But I just wanted to share something really quick. Um, she sent me a note after the shoot-up and the massacre in Highland Park. And um, I went to her concert, and her record company made sure that she sent a note that we could share with everybody. And she says, let's keep living for the ones who didn't make it by working to heal the rifts between us and enacting wiser policies for safer guns and mental health with Remembrance Bonnie. And um, I'll send you a copy of it, but I've got this beautiful note that she sent me. So just very much a, um, a wonderful humanitarian. The other wonderful, maybe I would say, some people would say it was an upset, was Edgar Winter. Edgar Winter won for his album, Brother Johnny, which was a tribute to his brother and had all kinds of fabulous artists on it. Bobby Rush, um, Joe Bonamassa, uh, the last performance of Taylor Hawkins, you know, the drummer from Dave Grohl's band. Um, some really 
amazing, amazing, uh, amazing CD recording. And he actually said, it was very weird because he, all of a sudden this white haired man with sunglasses and his record company exec sat right next to me at the Grammys. So that was exciting. Um, the other one, which I think is very respectable and exciting, and I'd love to have him on our show, is Jay Ivy. Jay Ivy won for best spoken word for poetry, a brand new category. And um, the poet is sat by the door. He is a Chicago homeboy, went to high school here and said he was inspired by his English teacher in high school. Um, he's been on records with Kanye. He actually on this record is John Legend, which he professes. He gave him the name Legend, which is great. But Jay Ivey, if you could catch him, he is fantastic. My other all-time favorite that is not televised but was on the premiere was Boo Mitchell and Martin Shore won for an album called Stomping Ground from their um, documentary called Take Me to the River, which featured New Orleans music. I We've had Bobby Rush on. And Bobby I love that. Rush, just that line, take me to the river and wash me down. Oh my God, Michael, you have to, we're going to have to share stomping ground. Um, it's with Aaron Neville and the Dirty um, Dozen ba Brass Band. And uh, Boo is, you know, a uh, Grammy winning producer. And they won as well as the movie won for, I think it's called The History of New Orleans, which is a tip of the hat to, you know, from Quint Davis to George Wayne, who started the Newport Jazz Festival and the Folk Festival. But I this went to the Newport Jazz Festival in my youth, 1961, I think I went. Do you, did you really? You have photos? Yeah, I, hung out, I hung out on the beach with Horace Silver and Ola Tunji. And, uh, you know, Horace Silver was from Norwalk, Connecticut, and his, he went to church <laughs> at my adopted brother's, his mom was the teacher. And, um, also, Ola Tunji, I would then brought to Lake Forest College. No uh, kidding. I was with Don Law, whose father was a heavy hitter in Columbia Records. Uh, and this would have been the uh, summer of 61. Yeah, Anyhow, so back to the, honey, any Chicago winners? Was Is Ivy from Chicago? Yeah. Uh, we didn't, they did not win the children's uh, best album, but... To me, that was the best album in the children's category. Um, Ivy and WB and Wendy Morgan for yeah. that album on Into the Little Blue House with all the blues players is extraordinary. But the Alphabet Rockers won. I held a breakfast Saturday morning before the nominees party, which I started this 30 years ago, Michael. I only had like six people there. This year, there were 75. And the remarkable thing, and I want to give another tip of my hat to Harvey, Harvey Mason Jr. He has really worked hard as the CEO and president of the Grammys to have more diversity and inclusion. And um, it's been wonderful. Divinity Rocks. I mean, Falu, an Indian artist, won last year. Um, so that's been great. And if you saw the show, anybody out there, you know, Lizzo. She is really all about women and embracing your beauty, no matter what size you are, which was really a wonderful statement for people that are, you know, that really, um, you know, want to keep that alive and, I mean, keep it important as an important, um, it's something very important as we move into, you know, new grounds. Also, uh, Brandy Carlisle, I, she won for Best Rock Album, which surprised the rap out of her. Um, it was really, I mean, over over Jeff Beck. And speaking of which, okay, I'll tell you my one my one vote of right. contention. Buddy Guy didn't win, uh, but respectfully, Taj Mahal and Ry Cooter walked away with Best Traditional Album, which was joyful. I mean, Buddy has eight, but Buddy opened the um, the ceremony, the premiere ceremony with the Blind Boys of Alabama. And uh, yeah. that was really incredible. And Shoshana Bean, but he only had two minutes on stage. 
how wonderful would it have been if they would have put Buddy Guy on the live broadcast with a tribute to Jeff Beck? Would have been great. Right? So that's my only faux pas. Well, this has been a great report. I have more enthusiasm for the Grammys. I've never really gotten into watching them, but uh, I certainly like your report, and I know I'll listen to that and watch it a few times in the course of looking at this show. And uh, next year, I'll be paying really close attention to the Grammys. Well, I think it's really important that people know, and probably with the other organizations as well, that it's not only about the live broadcast, that they help musicians in need, down on their luck, um, addiction, mental health issues. So, you know, there's a lot more education. So I'm happy to come on and give that a report anytime. And it's delightful to be with you. Well, I keep working with you, booking music for this show. Thanks, Lynn. And I'm looking forward to a, a night when we go out and hear some music. I'm an old guy, but I vow to go out and see more live music.